welcome back. So of course, we want to deal with this slug. We want to make sure that we are not repeating ourselves and adding a slug that already exists, yes? So we do that right before, uh, right before everything else, yes? Hmm. So you see here where we are, we are adding, checking for files and adding files. This takes quite an amount of uh, processing power right here. Now, we could, instead of having to go through here, we could check if uh, errors are not actually there yet, because if we do have any errors, then there's no need to actually upload any of this content over here, because we're not going to save anyway. So as you can see, this if is set and is equal to empty, we can move it above here so that we don't suffer doing all this. Oh, the only problem is, the only problem is if we do have, uh, if we move this right at the top here, then we get an error with one of the images, then we will still proceed to saving. So this is a, a question you have to ask yourself. Do you still want to save if there was an error with a single image, for example? Because there are many images here. Um, there's so much happening here. So maybe if an image had a problem, uh, this is entirely up to you to decide. The way I'm going to do it here is going to be, even though the images have a problem, it will still save. Now, the reason that is okay is because it's easier to just replace an image. If you see that uh, after adding your, your files, the image was not added, uh, you can easily change it. But if you don't want that, you can leave this as it is, no problem. So I think for now, I think let's just leave it there so that we don't save whether as long as there's an error. Okay, so let's do some checking here before we save and make sure that we do not have any errors. So we're going to do it right here. I'll say make sure slag is unique, something like this. Hmm. So this is how we do things. We run a query and then we check to see if things uh, good okay i don't know why i still have this as check but uh, oh yeah no because we are writing to this and then we want to check so i think that kind of makes sense so what i will do is copy this part because i need this as it is copy that let's come to this point here and paste mm -hmm. Now, the thing with the slug is that the slug is created automatically. So we don't need to bother the user with the details of slug is not unique and so on, because there's nothing they can really do about it. So all we need to do is that if it's not unique, we just have to change it and add something to it and then uh, save it. So. Let's just do this. We can we can do it in two ways. One, we can create a loop that endlessly loops until we create uh, a unique slug. But the chances of a slug being the same as another is already very low. And so if we do find one, just adding a random number already makes it uh, good enough. So <clears throat> you are going to say check is equal to that. And let's run a query here. And so if this is obviously going to be read and not write, and we don't want to mess with a AAR because we are using it already here. So what I will do is just remove that. So I won't be using prepared statements here. <clears throat> All I want to do now is if check this means that uh, things are good because if we don't find it, we return false. So if this is true, then we did find it. So then we will have to change our slug. So I will copy that slug over here and put it here. So I'll say slag 
dot equals. So at the very end of the slug, we're going to add a random number. So this is up to you how many digits you want to add here. So comma 9999. I think four digits is pretty good. Let's put five for good measure, just so it's more random. Okay, so whatever is in here, at the end, let's add that. <clears throat> now, if you want to, you can add a an underscore, just or a hyphen like this, so that it's more the name and then dash a number at the end. Okay, so what will be our our query? So our query is going to be select all from products. Let's do that. Let me come back to my thingy here. It's the table is called products, and what we're looking for is the slug. So I will say select. I don't need all columns. I just need one uh, because we're just trying to see if we'll get a result or not. That's it. We won't even use this data. So I just say select slug from products where slug is equal to. Actually, let's use prepared statement. It's much easier. I'll say a limit one. And then instead of using uh, ARR, let's use a different array. So let's just say, uh, what will we name it? Something like B, just, actually that's a bad idea. So let's say, uh, let it be more descriptive. Slug array like this. And let's say slug. And then we're going to equate it to whatever is in here. Right there. So we use a slug array at this point. Uh -huh. Okay, so pretty good. Select slug from products where slug is good to slug. Then read. If that's true, add an extra there. And that's it. So we don't bother the user with uh, this issue at all. Uh -huh. Okay, so pretty good. And then let's come back here now. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me refresh and let's try and add something new. Okay, so what will we add? Let me start with my image. Let me browse here. And there's this, uh, there's this product here. Let's try Milo. Okay, Milo candy bar. What else? So I'll just put two images here so we can see what happens when other images are not there. And let's put it in food. And let's put uh, 100 uh, items here. Uh, let's try 9.99. Oh, just something different. Let's try 12.99. Yep, I think that does it. Let's save. Product added. Thank you very much. So now let's come back here to the home page and there we go so we have these three items over here very good okay so in the next video we look at how to deal with these randomly sized images because they don't look good like this when one of them is longer than the other and so on so we can make them uniform so i'll see you in the next video